What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. You know I've been teasing you about this 450. Well I told you it was coming so today we're building the canopy for this 450 so we can go ahead and get this bad boy online. So first things first, I explained everything we did with this tank. We went ahead and did a complete reseal on it. My dad went ahead and made these braces for extra security underneath the canopy. But we've got some overflows sticking out on the backside. So I'm just bringing the canopy up to the backside and basically cutting out over the overflow. And the canopy is going to go right down beside it, behind the tank. And it's going to cover up all of this down to about there. So once that's tipped together, I can show you how all that looks. And then we had to go ahead and cap these uh, overflows here, or actually the, the bulkhead holes. And then there was some on the bottom as well. So there was two different holes there and two over here which are covered up right now. And then two holes each in each of the overflows. So I capped three. I left one off for a overflow which I just put a coupler on it to bring it up above the water level. So if we did want to sell this or use it, we can always hook this up onto the system. So going outside, I already have my two long boards cut. I got this eight foot section. I got to cut the two three foot pieces over here. So I will get back with you once that's a little bit more complete and I'll show you how I'm going to put this together and then how I'm going to make it uh, sit on top of the tank. All right, so I have all my boards cut, but you remember those overflows I was talking about. So here's going to be my sideboard coming in. I'm going to be able to drill through this. I'm going to pilot the hole so the board does not crack because this is very, very thin. And then I'm going to take a jigsaw and I'm going to cut out this portion. That's going to sit down over the overflow. And then I made these blocks right here. So basically, once this is together, this is going to go into the corner. And the other side is going to come down right here. And this is going to basically go down right there. So the top trim of the tank is going to go down and sit on this right here. And then it also gives us something more to screw to on each side. So you have, you know inch and a half to screw to instead of trying to go through this tiny little three quarter inch board so we go ahead and do that and it's dual purpose all right so you can see my holes for the overflows are cut i used a jigsaw took my time nothing broke because you know right here you're worried about this small little edge cracking off if you come too far this will just shoot out the way but i started putting this first corner together so what i did was basically i told you this is where the tank's going to sit so this is completely flush right here. I went ahead and drilled these and put some screws in. And I'll show you. So I piloted the holes right here. This is a specialty bit uh, for your screw gun. It countersinks the heads of your drywall screws into the, the wood. So that prevents any sort of cracking. It's just a hair under the sides of the screw. So when your screw goes in, it'll pro probably go in uh, half a turn. And then you got to use your drill and go all the way down. So... That makes for nice, clean corners on this thing. I went ahead and drilled one on the top too, so there is no uh, seeing of this, and there is some wood glue on the seam as well. All right, so the corners are together. You can see there's screws top and bottom on each side pulling it together. You've got these little blocks holding it up, so you have it landing on the front side and the back side. So your canopy will come down and this will touch the top of the tank. You have this much hanging over to go down and cover the edge of the water line. So all four sides are complete. We are now installing like the center brace. Screws and not air nails. And then you've screwed this all together and the braces are on there. I like this. You can screw this one corner back. All right, look at this. Oh my goodness, the canopy is on. I've got a few touch-ups I have to, to do, of course but it started raining on us. But nonetheless, the canopy is on. You can see down here, exactly how I said, that's touching the top trim of the tank right there. It's black on black, so it's a little bit hard to see. Um, you got the center brace there. It's all connected and good. Um, what else can I say? I don't know, that's a job well done. I think the next uh, avenue here is to start filling this thing with water. Maybe some lights. Yes, buddy. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> so we got these lights done in here, and we pre-sunk the center brace there so the lights can actually be recessed inside the canopy, and they cannot be seen from on top. But that also gives you a ton of room to get up on the stool, 
reach down in, in the tank and access it. So sooner than later, this tank will be full. All right, now slowly but surely, this tank is coming to life. We got the lights hooked up. Let me go on top here again and show you. But these are two beams works we had sitting back there. They actually went bad. We got them working again. Had to mess around with the plugs on them. But you can see how the lights are now recessed in here. We just took some screws. You didn't want them poking out through the outside of the canopy, so went ahead and left them hanging there. So they're just acting as a hook for these metal bars to sit on. And now you can see on the center brace, they're kind of just sitting over. They are crossing through to each other, so you know they're off by about a sixteenth of an inch there. And then over here on the other side, screw as well. So they are recessed on in there. And I was wrong; these are not beams works. These are aquanets. These came off the three thousand. We replaced them with beams works. And these ones we had to get working because the plugs went ahead and rusted out. Now what I have to do now is uh, basically clean out all this crap inside the tank. And then she's ready for water. So this is an exciting time. I did, however, get a FX6. I'm going to go ahead and attach some hosing, which I actually forgot to make a hole on this canopy for the hosing to go out through the back of the tank. So uh, I'm hoping that I have enough room to fish them out through this uh, overflow hole. And if not, then I will drill a little hole and I just have to touch up paint inside where I drill a hole through. Hey babe, what you doing? All right, so now that we've got the tank pretty much set, you guys can see here I've got this FX6 hose running down two to the side. I've got a four foot uh, extension piece on it so the intake can reach the bottom of the, the tank. I've got the return, actually let me see this phone up here. I've got the return up here on the back of the overflow. I just cut this in so it can reach and it'll return inside the overflow. We're not using this right now because we're using it as a quarantine. But if I wanted to hook this up on the system, I could just pull this coupler off and then I hook up on the bottom side of the drain and it would go to basically wherever I drain it to and I could just hook up a return. But for now I have the intake. And I've got the out, uh, outtake, the return, coming in the overflow. So it's going to come back into here, shoot out, and go around. I've also got a huge sponge filter, which is down there in the 125, which I will bring back over. But i got to figure out where I'm taking this FX6 from because it's going to be a pre-seated one. I'll stick a brand new one on a tank that's already established. And then this tank, I think, is ready for water. All right, so while I'm working on the quarantine 450 over there, we also came over here and set up this little tank. This was a little, I think it's a 7 or 10 gallon hexagon we had sitting inside. But Brittany wanted some little pea puffers. So we had some uh, Fluval stratum, some uh, substrate sitting out back. So we went ahead and poured that in here. Of course, we grabbed some live plants from uh, around the fish room. Got some driftwood from our box of driftwood up there, of course. And then we went ahead and got a plant bulb from the back shelf of the pallet rack. So this is a grow bulb on here, and we are filling it now with our tank water. I went ahead and took a single sponge filter. I took the sponge off of a seated one and put the new one on our old double barrel sponge filter so we can go ahead and start seeding the new one. This one's already pre-seeded, so once it's filled, it can just be ready for fish. So tomorrow she'll get her pea puffers. All right, so I did my part. I told you guys there would be water in the tank. Well, here it is. We got this cute little pea puffer tank up and going. It is almost full. The filter is running already. The lights on, plants are look looking great. It's already starting to clear up. Now, uh, I think that does it for today's video. I'm just joking. Let's get back to the 450 now. All right, so coming over here in the 125, this is a sponge filter I told you that was already up and going for the 450. This is a larger sponge filter. There's the two that run this tank for the quarantine system. Now that's gonna come over here along with the FX6. So now everything is good to go. But I am sorry to do this to you guys. I'm not going to fill this tonight because I want to be able to watch it. And you know, turn the filters on as it fills up. It's already late at nighttime. 
but we made some good progress. So you can see how I have that on the side of the canopy and then an extension coming down so it can pick the dirt up off the, the bottom. We will also have the sponge fil filter in, in here, you know, circulating the, the water. And uh, I think that this will be good for quarantine. This is uh, eight foot by three foot. So you can stick some pretty big fish in here. But something else for this vi video, I got some fish down here that's gonna go up to the front tank. We've got this black ghost knife that is chilling in this tank here. He's going to go up front to the community tank and we're going to go ahead and grow him out. Over here we've got a little baby golden uh, algae eater which he's going to be put into the community tank as well and a smaller clown mouse. So let me go ahead and wrangle these guys out and we'll put them in their perspective tanks. All right, so I was just informed that uh, a couple of these fish had come in in the last few days. I didn't know about the angels are actually uh, lip locking right now. So they're having it out. Knock it off, guys. But uh, so I cannot move these guys in, in this tank. They've got, got to go through quarantine again. But I can move the black ghost knife. But the tank that he's going to go into, I want to do a water change on first because that's a planted tank up front. Even though the water's good, I like to do uh, periodic water changes on them at every like three, three to four months or so. So I'm gonna do the water change on that tomorrow and then we will go ahead and acclimate this black ghost knife to the 150 gallon community tank up front. But since I've been teasing you guys oh so much, I went ahead and ran this hose over here for you. Let's go ahead and turn this valve. Let's get some water in this tank. Look at that. Exciting times. Now, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and point this camera on this tank and let you guys sit here and watch this fill for the next 29 hours. <laughs> just kidding. So we've got water rolling it into it. Now, uh, I hate to do it, do it to you, but I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for the night. I'm tired, been working all day. We're gonna go ahead and let this fill for a little bit while I'm out here. I gotta go ahead and feed the fish. And uh, by that time, there'll be a little bit of water in there and I can go ahead and shut it off. Hopefully that's enough water so I can have the sponge filter running so the water does not get stagnant. But uh hope you guys are excited about this just as much as I am. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you wanna see more crazy adventures with the Ohio Fish Rescue, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay fishy, my friends. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You know, I couldn't do that to you guys just yet. But this has been filling for around 45 minutes already, so this is going to take absolutely forever. I just went inside, cut up all the fish food. I fed the fish, pretty much wasting as much time as we possibly can. But uh, yeah, it is time to sadly say, say good, good night. So as always, Stay fishy, my friends.